Hey kids, welcome to Sam's Toolbox. And today we're gonna learn about different kinds of hammers. Hammers are some of the most common tools you can find. And they're some of the most important tools that we can use. Now hammers are usually used to hit nails through pieces of wood so that we can connect it to another piece of wood. But there are other jobs that hammers can do, like removing the nails that we hit in. And smashing anything that needs to be destroyed. Hammers come in many shapes and sizes, and each one of these has its own special job. The main parts of a hammer are the head and the shaft. The shaft is held in your hand, and the head, this part, is used to hit things like nails. Now, before we get started, it's important to remember that hammers slam things really, really hard. And that can be dangerous if we don't use them correctly. So anytime a hammer is in our hand or is swinging, we need to be really, really careful. We need to make sure we always have the right safety equipment, including safety goggles, and always make sure a parent is with you when you are using tools. Now, let's go take a look at some of the hammers we can use around the construction site. We're going to start with the smallest and work our way to the biggest. First, we have what's called a ball peen hammer. This is usually a really small hammer, but they can get as large as some other hammers. Here, I have two different sizes. Now this hammer is so special because one side has a flat end and the other side has a round end. Now the flat side of the hammer can be used for almost anything, including hammering nails. And now these two boards are connected. Now the round side of the hammer is used to shape metal. This is done by slowly tapping on the metal so we can change the shape into whatever we want. Changing the metal shape like that is called peening. And that is why the hammer is called a ball peen hammer. The next hammer is probably the easiest to recognize. It's called a claw hammer. Claw hammers are named that because of the special claw shape of the head. The shape is so special because it has one side with a flat end and one side with a special claw. The flat side of the hammer is used to slam nails when we want to connect two different boards. And the claw side of the hammer is used when we need to take nails out. Just like that. Just like that. When we can hammer nails in and take nails out, we can build almost anything. Now the next hammer looks almost exactly the same as the claw hammer, but it's a little bit different. It's called the framing hammer. While framing hammers look almost exactly the same, there are two big differences between a framing hammer and a claw hammer. Framing hammers are bigger 
and way more. So we don't have to hit the nail as many times when we want to strike it through a piece of wood. Framing hammers also have a special pattern on the front of the head that looks like a waffle. The waffle helps the hammer grip the nail better when we are hitting it. Now one of my favorite parts about a framing hammer is it actually has a special magnet that can hold a nail in the front. So when we want to get it into a piece of wood, all we have to do is swing. And we're done. Framing hammers are usually used in building houses where we will, where we will hit hundreds and hundreds of nails in a row. Claw hammers can be used for building houses and can be used for any job, but a framing hammer will save us a lot of energy. Next up, we're going to look at our first demolition hammer. Do you know what demolition means? It means knocking down and destroying things. <laughs> So our first demolition hammer is called a mini sledgehammer. Mini sledgehammers are heavy and they have a square head on both sides that we can use for bashing things. We can use them for small kinds of demolition like breaking wood. We can use them with a special tool called a chisel to break through stone and brick. So mini sledgehammers usually weigh less than five pounds and they get their name because they are a teeny version of a full size sledgehammer. The next hammer we're gonna look at. So this is the sledgehammer and it is the ultimate tool for destroying things. These hammers also have a heavy square head and they can weigh up to 20 pounds. The two that I have here, this one weighs 10 pounds and this one weighs two pounds. We can use full-size sledgehammers to break almost anything. That's it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed learning about hammers. Thanks for visiting Sam's Toolbox, and I hope to see you again real soon. Keep learning and keep building.